Hello, hello! Day two of well grilling. Keep having fun coming up. Logo is here with me. She's over there. She's here in the fire pit. We are going to um, Mother Earth News Fair, or this is probably in the future that we went to, or maybe we're there now. I don't know when this video is posted. But another day of that. Let's go see what's going on with that. That. Right here's a someone selling mushrooms. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get anything now. Okay. Here we are in the bookstore. And everybody here gets a coupon for 25% off. A lot of cool books. <laughs> so that's what you don't want to do. Without commercial. But I do know that commercials are out there. And it's really confusing. We hear what is right. We hear what studies have said. We hear what everybody's coming. I mean, everybody knows now. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So it comes all in, like, this is four walls that are accordions that, that got, get into a real compact shape. Because they'll move three or four times a year. Yep, that's exactly how you would get it, is like this. We have some clients actually that don't want, that they want them plain. So, I mean, that's, that's a special order if you don't want the paintings. Um, rain, okay, so... The, the job is so vast, it's so big. 
I'll never get it done. And I would just turn around and leave and not do anything. It, it was too much for me. And and she, you helped me. Like, let's just start small. And so I, I actually drew a square with ribbons, a little area that was about 10 by 10 in the thickest brush. I'm like, I'm going to clear this today. I'm going to clear 10 feet by 10 feet. And that's where I started. I got a foothold. And then it was a 20, and then it was a 50 by 50, then 100 by 100. Just do what you can. Do what you can and, and spend time with your family. Remember, the reason why I came out here is not to be a, a, a working, work myself to the bone, but to, to have time with my family, to have time with my young wife and to raise my kids. And, and I'll do what I can. I get up early, work as hard as I can, but if there comes a time, cut it off. Mm -hmm. If the barn's not done and the roof's falling off and the pipe's not laid in the ground, you, get, you do what you can. You, that's all you can do is you can do what you can. I partner with God. I tell him, I said, look, you brought me out here. This is a tremendous job. This is your responsibility. I'm only dead flesh and blood. I can only do so much. I can only cut so much firewood. You're going to have to pick up the slack, fill in where I, where I can do it. Cool. Thank you. And, and I think also helpful is get your uh, your wife a chaps and a chainsaw <laughs> for her birthday, whether she wants it or not, right? <laughs> It it's on the list. That is the baby saw that you use all the time now, right? Yeah, I may have used it the time. <laughs> we probably have time for one more. If there is one more, yeah. Uh, did you guys bring your books, and do you have certain hours for the signing? Oh, yeah. So actually, we do. We do have a book. We had a lot of people ask us questions. We end up writing a book, and we're, right now, afterwards, we'll be at the bookstore, and. There's 25% off coupons. I don't know if you've seen those, but um, so there's some there. We'll sign those now, and then also on. What's up? Here we are <laughs> at Mother Earth, and we're just making fun of me, but we're gonna actually get our book signed. Modern homesteading, Wrangler store, and he's right over there. I want to say hi, talk to him, and he's going to give me everything I need to know about homesteading. It is just there right amazing. There. Hey, take two. Good morning. It's day two. Here we are at the parking lot of Mother Earth News there, and we literally had taken the last parking spot. Those aren't the cars. These are the cars. So what they're doing is cutting down more trees to build a parking lot, or just coincidence that we are at the end where they are making a parking lot. So we are parking faster than they are building the parking lot here at Mother Earth. So let's see what cool things we have today. Pause. Hey, take two. Good morning. It's day two. Here we are at the parking lot of Mother Earth News there. And we literally had taken the last parking spot. Those aren't the cars. These are the cars. So what they're doing is cutting down more trees to build a parking lot or just coincidence that we are at the end where they are making a parking lot so we are parking faster than they are building the parking lot here at mother earth so let's see what cool things we have today pause so here's some kind of pennsylvania act about this thing look at that some kind of up stock aisle, of course. Maybe a zip line across. Ooh, this is a pretty cool state park. Hey, Logo, see if you can climb the rocks. Because I got a lot of rocks at home for you to climb. You can do it! No, they're going, see, we went around the wall. That's cheating. That's not rock climbing, that's going around the rock. I'm going to do this. Come on, come on. All right, Dan's gonna do it. Dan's the first one brave enough to go over it. Let's see if he can do it. See if I can go fast enough if it does, and it won't go. See down. if you can balance it, Dan. See if you can balance it. Can you balance it? Oh, oh, Dan's not a very good balancer. Oh, there's cheating involved. <laughs> Ooh. This is surfing in the woods. Wood surfing. Let's go surfing now, everybody surfing now. Ooh. Oh, here comes ah. the <laughs> Wipe out! <laughs> That's Homesteader Dan. At Homesteader Dan dot Instagram. <laughs> we are on the fitness trail. Yeah, that's it. This is a lot of fun and a lot easier going down. This is probably level. Yeah, I think 
I'm gonna film this on the way up and see if it says fun. <laughs> After a day of <laughs> walking around. Yeah. Oh boy. I'm putting my seatbelt on. Here is the the mud work, right baby? They're making what they're making? You want to say what they're making? They're making You seem like you're you know you just walked into the camera. She's new at this video thing. So they are making uh, blocks for a cop house. A cop. Well they're doing like a basic thing but same way, they're building it's a cop. brick oven brick that oven. they're doing right now. That's right. Thank you, baby. I'll put you in the credits. We like this. Um, for whatever. Just something that's completely non burnable No chance of catch on fire. the most. And then you the That's that's overkill. Yeah. Fire Just um, last year we did it. Your design to the environment you're in. In our environment, we are in the Okanagan Highlands. Very dry, very cold, and in the middle of winter is when we get most of our, our precipitation. So we might get 15 feet of snow. It's been known to happen. I think we got seven feet total last year, but only three or four feet of accumulation at any given time. Okay. So this particular stove, which happens to be in Israel, um, how many people here know that Israel gets cold? Yeah, it's it's interesting being in North America where most people don't realize that when we're talking about Africa, there's a cold part of Africa and a warm part of Africa. <laughs> you know? There's a cold part of Europe and a warm part of Europe. Well, and we, we live at 3,200 feet elevation, so we're becoming very familiar with, like, you know, we drive 2,000 feet down and a few miles that way to get to the grocery store. And the weather can be quite different based on those elevation differences. So, so many states in the U.S. have cold, like California has cold mountain areas, even though most of the state where people live is quite cold. Whatever you just decide to build brings that exhaust from the firebox back down. The reason we showed you so many clean burning primitive stoves at the beginning is it's critical that your fire is clean. If you have a clean fire, you can do the next step. If you have a fire that's producing smoke, and then you run it through channels that extract the heat, what are you going to put in those channels? Well, carbon monoxide Creosote. is incomplete burn. Carbon monoxide is incomplete burn. That'll tend to go all the way through. So you're going to get a little bit of that when you start a fire in a cold fire box, no matter what kind of stove you have. But if you have a fire that's producing smoke throughout its burn, part of that smoke are volatile gases that will condense again and become tarry, sticky creosote. Um, it's actually it's a whole common, it's a whole bunch of chemicals that you get from incomplete burning. Um, and so if your if your chimney gets below 350 degrees Fahrenheit and you have smoke going through it, that smoke will condense on the sides, deposit creosote. All of those volatile, sticky tars and, and, and chemicals are highly flammable. They are the fuel that you're losing by not burning a complete burn in your burn chamber. And then you get, if you get enough oxygen and heat going through there at any point, you can have a chimney fire. So we do not... What you got, baby? You should get a fire splitting axe so you could cut all the firewood for us. That's like mine. Nice. mistake of trying to burn a painted chair leg at one point. It turned out it was oil paint. That was kind of exciting, but not something I would want to repeat. 
when um, that's insulated. But yeah, anything that will fit in that firebox and it's made of a natural um, like one third of that non right material. Uh, we've had the people here, make little sort of cakes out of sawdust and animal dust. Again, John usually describes it as animals that eat grass and twigs. Not so much with the dog food. Oh, that's so cool. See reflections of this spider web. Wow. Kind of looks like the models for the the gravity. So that was, uh, I, that's all I was going to share uh, in the demonstration. And when I showed it to my wife, she said, there's going to be a riot if you don't show that tree coming down. So I'll share, <laughs> I'll share you the, the, the other half here. video it sums up it sums up why we made the decision to do this it was a and a flat pole on the, on the back it's very versatile you can split wood with it you can fall timber with it you can cut firewood with it you can you can butcher animals with it we've done that before you can do anything you need to do with this and if I was only going to have one axe and that was the first one I bought it would be the American felling axe if I was going to supplement that with a second one, uh, my all-time favorite axe of all, uh, of all time is the Grand Forest Brook Small Forest Axe. I, I, I like this particular axe. It's expensive. It's an heirloom tool. It's something that is hand-forged in Sweden. But it is a wonderful tool. It just hits all the perfect spots. It can be used by uh, a child. It can be used by uh, a woman. It can be used by a man. It can be used with two hands to do pretty serious work. It can be choked up to do very small work, carving bowls and spoons. It can. It is just perfect for everything. It's my constant companion whenever I go in the forest. I wear it on my hip in an aluminum scabbard, and I always have it on my hand. Hello, hello. Can you say yurt? I'm at the mother. Mother's Earth News Fair and they are selling yurts and been in the market for a yurt for a while now and I think I'm doing it. I'm gonna pull the trigger and get myself a yurt. Here it is. Groovy yurts. This yurt is coming home with me to Woodward PA. I somehow orchestrated a truck that is selling solar heaters. Um, they drive this back. They live in the next valley over. And I'm gonna save a lot of money by buying this new display model from Groovy Yurts. What was that? How much it cost? Uh, I'm taking this one home right now, actually, for 7,000. <laughs> so. You go to festivals? Uh, no, I'm going to use this to live in. I'm living in an airstream right now, so... Damn. Alright, all right. <laughs> This might be a, you know, upgrade. The airstream might be kind of cold for winter, so... Yeah. We'll you got see. one of those propane heater boxes in it? That's what... It's a long weekend. Camping. 
and checking out everything at Mother Earth News Fair. The logo is leaving. It was a great weekend, had a great time. Learned a lot of good stuff. Bought a yurt. Met some cool people. Alright. That's the end of that. See you at the next video. This is Dennis Allen. Signing out. Oh wait, look. The bus is from Elizabeth. <laughs> That's where I'm from. Alright, now I'm done. There's my Jeep. There's Walmart. Don't buy anything from Walmart.